So I'm sure uh, most of you are aware of the Astray frames from Gundam Seed, but what about the Civilian Astray DSSD Custom from Stargazer? This is one that was used, I don't know if it was only used in the um, research laboratory, like space station, that this, this, the OVA was kind of focused in, uh, but there were quite a few of them there. And I love the look, like it, you can tell it's an asteroid, but it's like a space asteroid. Like it looks like, I mean, I'm assuming that makes sense, right? Like it looks, but it looks like one. It really does. It has that everything's curved, more like you can tell that parts resemble like the torso, but it's more roundish, not as many heavy, sharp edges. And the head is just cool with the uh, smoky visor that covers the Gundam face. And little antenna just sticking off the back. I like that. Even the, these binders are really cool. How they're how they're shaped. These things here though, worst part of the kit. Um, I had to glue them both, especially the bottom, because the gravity just would drag them down. They just fall off for no reason, just sitting there. And it's it has it's not sticker heavy, but they are kind of annoying because like they're all, these red ones are all metallic, and I don't know why they kept making them metallic, but they just don't work well with the uh, the overall like look of it. They stand out. That's what I'm trying to say. They got the little black ones on the knees are okay, and surprisingly. They didn't do metallic for the gray. I'm not sure if they if it was just easier to do. And it's got little teeth cuts to curve around. Weirdly enough, always it, it's just the way it is. Stickers that go on rounded surfaces aren't supposed to hold for long. I bought this back when it came out in I think 2006, and it, no problem at all. They're not like peeling uh, even a little. And from a distance, you can't really tell they're stickers. They look really good. Right, I've dwelled on stickers long enough, but uh, yeah, the the articulation. It's good for the time. First kit, I think, one of the first kits, I don't know if it's the first, but one of the first kits not to have any polycaps. This guy is polycap free, and it's good for now. Well, I mean, I say for now, I had this for almost for 17 years now. So, but you can see things do pop up, and you can kind of see they're wearing some. I, let me see if I can show that. The uh, plastic is starting to kind of like grind off. And so I can see it would like some kits might have a problem where they just get completely loose. Although I am, I am noticing some of the parts are starting to separate too. That could also be because of the friction. But so far, it, it can stand. It can do a pose. Not an amazing pose. Like the knees are okay. Angles are fine. They do have some tilting, so that will definitely help. But the hips are kind of limited, so it, it does take away from the whole posability. But I love the binders on the back. Got extra set of them inside that's pretty cool very tall geese but if it actually had it on the back instead of the shoulders which is still weird to me and the weapons well shield's kind of plain uh all white didn't even put a sticker on it to like kind of give you something but yeah it's just white not a laser but boring boring her and the beam rifle well it's the same as the uh stargazer but the stargazer is just using a civilian asteroid beam rifle because it doesn't have one it's not supposed to it's supposed to be a exploration Gundam, not a murder pew pew Gundam. So as it is, it's a pretty good solid version of the Astray. And they actually did a second one. Now this was the Leon's Arms Astray PMC Custom. Why is it called all that? I have no idea. Why well, they could have just called it the um, like Leon's Astray, Civilian Astray Custom or something. Whatever. Whatever it means, it is the same model it just has a new head which is awesome looking and a different color scheme which is also awesome looking never never really thought i would want uh astray in this color scheme until this one came out but it is so good that light very light gray with this like i'm not even sure what to call this color scheme um because you got the violet here so what is this like a neon purple i don't know and for whatever reason the metallic purple for the stickers that replace the metallic red on the other one work for me anyways i think they work better I, I don't know why but i like it better and yeah let's just take a, a good look at that head very very cool very gundam looking love the extra cameras with the uh, stickers speaking of stickers the shield got a little bit of an enhancement you got this really nice metallic purpley pink sticker and the uh, i don't know what the other one is it's some probably like a clan or something but it's a uh, it's like a snake with rockets wrapped around it it's weird but it's uh, it's different it's not too bad so yeah that's it i don't know why they didn't make more 
I think I think they totally could have melted us, given us blue, green, gold, maybe a black, who knows. I wouldn't mind having a little squadron of different colors. And just give us slightly they probably wouldn't have, but they could have given us slightly different heads. That would have been fine. One with like maybe a smaller V-fin, a bigger V-fin, a tri V-fin, one with like a quad, you know, the ones that stick out and stick up. Good on that. But hey, I mean it's they look they stand out if you have like a shelf of asteroids. They're definitely unique.